All right, here's a video from my buddy Reg Rogers, former uh, drummer of Kiss. That I brought all these dang records on a road trip with us, and we never got around to going through them, but it's basically my 1980s punk rock collection. Meet Puppets in a Car. This is about the most violent, uh, abrupt, confusing, and possibly original album in this whole box. 1981. Uh, adolescence this was their uh, I think that was their second piece of vinyl there's a Raymond Pettibon comic book he's the brother of Greg Ginn from Black Flag that slipped in there oh the system this was a crass type English anarchy type band government issue it was a Washington DC uh, minor threat kind of deal here was that. Let's say, uh, very first Black Flag EP, Nervous Breakdown, Petty Bond Art, Charge GBH, the big, great big haircuts. That was starting to get kind of a, a little bit more mainstream. I was never too into these guys, but somehow I ended up with that. Uh, first TSOL, True Sounds of Liberty, that was a California band. Goffy, Black Flag Six Pack. That was a classic. Probably their their big break, I would say. Eddie and the subtitles. That was a uh, cool art. That guy Sean K. He was like the best cartoonist to come out of the whole '80s punk rock scene. This was a uh, Black Flag freebie. Um, came up from Licorice Pizza, if you guys will remember that. That was a, a regional uh, record store chain. I'm not sure why they put this out. Thirsty and Miserable, Life and Pain. Uh, this was a freebie that Fear gave out. Uh, Beep Christmas and Uck Christmas. I forget if they beeped out this side. I think this came in a magazine or something. Egg Hunt, which was uh, the Minor Threat, uh, Ian, and uh, what's his name there after Minor Threat broke up. Another uh, Petty Bond. Another Government Issue, DC. These guys are actually pretty darn good. Uh, White Cross, I think this was like a Minnesota or Minneapolis or uh, Wisconsin type area. Typical four-piece punk band. Ooh, remember these? These flippy ones? These came out of some of the magazines. I, I can't read that. I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a black flag. DOA, that was a, one of the Canadian bands. They were a little more rhythmic than most, but good stuff. Uh, a lot of fun. Husker do, Husker do, Husker don't. Um, this was before SST. But that was a uh, kind of a Black Flag era band. Black Flag TV party. You can see a theme going on here. But yeah, it was a, it was a, a flagger. Professionals. That's uh, Steve Jones and Paul Cook from the Sex Pistols. And they went a little poppy. Another, uh, <clears throat> another uh, Washington, D.C. band. Double O. Uh, they kind of came and went. They had something to do with government issue. Subhumans, I think they were probably my favorite uh, English crass anarchy type band. MDC, or well, this is the Millions of Dead Children. Normally they went by Millions of Dead Cops. This one had the uh, Chicken Squawk on there. That was fun. A uh, real similar band, Seven Seconds. Both of these were like vegan skin bands. These guys are out of San Francisco. And uh, where the hell were they from? Oh, shit. This this was out of Reno. Imagine that. I forgot about that. Uh, MDC was, I think, San Francisco, how it works. Subhumans. Groovy artwork. Poor Kitty. Anthrax, kind of the same stuff. God, some of that English stuff was horrible. Uh, subhumans had a little, little bit of a beat to them. That's pretty good. Uh, multi-death corporations. I forgot they had a theme going where every uh, M MDC meant something different every time. White Trash, uh, Boulder, Colorado, four-piece punk band. 
Ooh, here's another flipper. Uh, not sure which one. Angry Simones. They were a flash in the pan. Uh, L.A. And a goofy punk band. Under Threat. And this was after their big album. So those are the 45s. And let's see how we're going to do this. You can see it. The, all the crass bands had this same kind of thing going around the side. I assume that was crass. Uh, professionals, again, uh, Sex Pistols. This was a uh, compilation. SST, all the SST bands. I don't know why I bought that stupid stuff. Probably already had all those songs. Um, the Black Flag, where they got... I forget what the story was. They got in some kind of legal trouble, and they couldn't use the name Black Flag for a while. So they put this album out, and you could see every mention of Black Flag was blacked out. Ah, uh, man. It was an interesting story, but I don't remember what it was. This was a highly desirable uh, punk rock album The they took all four of their uh, 45s, put them into one album, kind of a reprint, but uh, SOA, uh, that was Henry Rollins' first punk rock band before he moved on to Black Flag, and the first MDC album, and their best album for sure, and... I'm embarrassed by being a fan of them at this point. <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, X. Uh, I'm not sure. X was a the, the L.A. band with the X scene as the singer. Another minor threat. Uh, giant size EP. Um, Circle Jerks, Wild in the Streets. Another L.A. band. Uh... I think two of the Circle Jerks are playing in the, the modern rendition of Black Flag now. Discharge. Actually, that was they were probably the coolest uh, English band just because they were so hard-hitting. But that, that's a rocking hard-hitting album there, man. Good gravy. Oh, what the heck was this? Peace War. I can't remember what the heck this was. They had a lot of albums in there. The thing split open. It's funny to think about all the effort and time they used to put into these uh, albums. Look at this thing came as Thick Magazine. Peace, Energy, Action, Cooperation, Evolution. Sheesh Louise, what the heck is all this? Um, <laughs> I haven't been through this box. Well, it's 2020. All this stuff was bought in the 80s. But I don't know if this is a compilation or what. Oh, boy, that tells you a lot. You have to look into that. I really can't remember what that was. Where are we at? Uh, da, da, da. Scream, another uh, another DC band, Discord Records. Uh, God dang, I didn't know MDC was so prolific. It's a big double album. This was a cool one, Doctor No. They were uh, from like Santa Barbara. Mid California, and there was the uh, the singer was the was the kid from uh, Courtship of Eddie's Father. I forget his name, but they had a they had a couple of cool hits on this album. I'm not sure if they ever did anything more than that. And DOA, this was their their big album, Hardcore '81. This had a lot of fun stuff on it. But that was a, that was a good one. Uh, Conflict, that was another English band that just. Kind of droned on and on, but you were cool if you're in the conflict. Ooh, there you go, Red. Bad brains. Um, man, that's just two songs on there. But being that it's kind of reggae punk, I'm sure they went on for six hours. But I love I jaw, I sailing on, big takeover. So that was uh, before the Yellow album. What was that called? Pay to come or something like that. And Doctor No, another conflict. Uh, this was a this was a fun uh, compilation. Let them eat jelly beans. Boy, it was cool. If you're a punk rocker, man, you had to hate on Ronnie. That was just a cool thing to do. But um, geez, that's almost all California bands. Got 
got a story on that one. Let's get past this. Subhumans. Uh, this was another Midwest band. TSOL. This was a, a highly desirable The Faith of Void album, which were two cool DC bands. You would flip it over. Uh, pretty different, but again, uh, minor threat uh, Henry Rollins tie ins to some extent. Who's could do, who's could don't. Bauhaus, uh oh. That's when I, I must have got a little. Uh, Glammy there. Ah, there's there's the killer Bad Brains album. That was that was the one with all the all the killer songs. But yeah, that's a, that is that's a keeper for sure. That's an excellent album. Hell, I don't even have a turntable anymore. I had quite a few more punk albums, but I met some kid that I don't know. I found a couple of cheap tricks in there. Uh, Golden Shower hits. Seven seconds, maximum rock and roll. That was a uh, not the dicks. That's a sticker. I don't know that got in there. Probably went and saw them or something. Maximum rock and roll was the uh, like a fanzine. That was it was all printed like that, man. You had to use a magnifying glass to read it. But there was like a scene updates and interviews and uh, yeah, I can't even read. But this was I'm sure a compilation album. With just a million freaking songs on it, but they were they would put on shows as well. I think they were a San Francisco deal. Uh, 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 um, not to say anything about that or that. And Flipper, you haven't been to you haven't been to a punk rock concert until you've been to a Flipper concert. Of course, the ultimate punk rock movie soundtrack, the the decline. You never said the the second half of that title. Minor threats. Uh, EP. Best punk rock album ever. Um, government issue. Another DC band. A little more mainstream. Meat puppets. Uh, again, one of the best punk albums ever. Did Kennedy's got to have that? What do we got there? Gone. Gone was a that was a great Gin project for an album or two. Uh, that was a compilation. Dead Kennedy's, Black Flag, Bad Brains, DOA. That was a San Francisco deal. Slime. I don't remember what the hell that was. Why? 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 Some other four piece. We got power. That guy Jordan he used to make this goofy little fanzine, and I'd run into that guy once in a while. And uh, I, I used to doodle a bit, and actually, uh, these were covers from his magazine. I actually, drew that one there. We got power number four. <laughs> That's my my claim to fame in <laughs> the, the punk rock world. <laughs> it had something to do with uh, the Cafe de Grand, the hot the hot one dollar concert spot. Uh, Minute Man, Husker Do. Let's get past this stuff. You can see I've lost my flicking ability. It doesn't help with all this plastic. Uh, probably the best Meat Puppets album, Meat Puppets 2. Flex Your Head, that was a really cool uh, Discord. Had all the cool bands on there from DC. Um, Meat Puppets 1, and that was excellent as well. Another top 10 punk rock album, Adolescence, bunch of 16-year-olds. Uh, then their buddies down the street, Wasted Youth. That's a killer one, too. Uh, some depressing English bullshit. Uh, another excellent DOA album. A classic, classic. What do we got? Um, Bad Religion. How could hell be any worse? I went to school with Pete the Drummer. Pete the Percussionist, sorry. My War, Black Flags are getting kind of funky at this point. Probably the, this is probably the second punk rock album I've ever bought. Circle Jerks group, group Hoochie Coochie. Oh, I missed one in there. Get back in there, bastard. TSOL. Boy, I remember when this came out. Jeez, man, that was something different. That was something else. I almost got killed by, um, what was his name, Mike Muir. 
Ooh, that was a good one. Damn, damn. That was killer. Get towards the end. Faith without void. DC. Discharge. Another discharge. <laughs> discharge was known for just you know coming up with one line and just singing it over and over and over again. They were the uh, the um, Casey and the Sunshine Band of the punk rock era. Uh, another DOA. Subhumans. That was probably definitely the best uh, Subhumans album there. That one had some great ditties. Channel Three, LA Band. With the, I'm pretty sure yeah, that's the one with Manzanar on it. <laughs> First time I ever heard of that. Another Angry Simone's a delightful cover. Um, what the hell's that? Black Flag Interview. They made an interview album. I you remember I had that. BGK, I think that was a... I don't know, another Midwest four-piece, I think. Uh, another fun DOA. Oh, I forgot I had so many damn DOAs. Slip it in. Slip it in. Probably the, I think that was the first. No, that was after Damage. Sorry. And then the ultimate Black Flag album, Damaged. As a parent, I found this to be an anti-parent record. Well, no shit. <laughs> 